St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is Mrs. Cynthia Lang from Halifax, Nova Scotia, in memory of her wonderful husband, Dr. Herbert Lang, and in thanksgiving for all the priests and religious who have touched our lives. The second is Mrs. Catherine Larivet from Lethbridge, Alberta, in memory of her husband, Maurice Larivet, who died on September the 18th, 2009. And the third is from the mother of a priest in thanksgiving for the priesthood. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate the memory of Christ's love, let us first of, know, first of all acknowledge our failures and sins and ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. All-powerful and ever-living God, direct your love that is within us, that our efforts in the name of your Son may bring mankind to unity and peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Like newborn infants, you should long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you're God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the de desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honorably among the Gentiles, so that, though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honorable deeds and glorify God when he comes to judge. The word of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is 
is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho, and he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho. Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And they called the man who was blind, saying to him, take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, my teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. Immediately Bartimaeus regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. 